have here are the modules, the building up for the E30. These are not the volt modules that you saw in the previous videos. These are actually Interdell cells. These are Interdell power cells. Um, they're uh, pretty impressive cells. They have a very large cycle life, but they also have very high discharge rates. Uh, I believe it's uh, 15C for 10 seconds uh, on these particular power cells. Uh, as you can see that they're they're banked together in cells of four. Um, and uh, I could easily pull about a uh, about a thousand amps out of all of these cells. down the barn. It's time to put it in the back of the E30 here. Uh, the module's really not heavy. Notice I'm using an en engine hoist here. Uh, main reason I'm using it because I have it. Uh, I bought this so I could pull the motors out of the bug and the, uh, the E30 and uh, it just makes life so much easier. Um, you can usually find them on Craigslist for about 200 bucks. You can also rent them but uh, um, really I think it's better just to buy a used one off Craigslist and then when you're done with it, if you don't need any more, you can usually sell it out for the same price, if not more, than you bought it for. And you can have it throughout your build. You'll find uh, many different times that you'll end up uh, needing it. You'll be taking motors in and out, checking fit, uh, putting batteries and etc. And it's just a really handy, uh, handy to have around. You need to have a little bit of space to be able to work it. Another option uh, you can use is a chain hoist. You can get them off of uh, uh, Harbor Freight usually has them on sale for like around 20 bucks. They're 2,000 pound rated, more than you'd ever need for uh, putting the batteries in. But you can just put an eye bolt in the ceiling, hook up a chain hoist, uh, use it to lift it up, put the battery into the car. Two people can also just lift this module in. One, it's kind of sketchy just because you're lifting over so much. It's uh, and You want to make sure you drop it down straight so you don't get hung up on anything. You know, obviously the, the batteries are quite typically the most expensive part of the build. So you want to be extra safe with them. So I'm going to take this module, put it back in the E30, and unfortunately the trunk is not quite deep enough, the trunk opening, to drop them straight in. The module gets installed along the length of the car. So what I'll actually do is lower it down perpendicular. Once I'm in, there's enough room inside that trunk to rotate and then drop through the hole that's in the, in the floor of the trunk. And with that, See there are two studs going along the back. That's where the modules fit in. It'll sit against those those studs, and that's what will uh, align everything up. And then up front here, the bolts go into those module or into those uh, nuts uh, threaded inserts that we have up here for the front rack. All right, if I can get my camera to cut. Stop falling off, we can get this module in, and you guys can see. So, just lined up the four bolts, two studs in the rear, two bolt holes in the front. Lower it down nice and slow. So obviously I still need to make the high current connections and the high uh, the battery taps for the BMS up front, but I'll just be able to plug that in. And this makes it so you can put, uh, put the modules in and take them out in pretty short order. I'd say probably on the order of about half an hour. 
Uh, you can pull all the battery packs and uh, swap them around as, on a, with a leisurely pace. It's not designed as a hot swap system, but uh, more uh, maintenance that if you need to work on something, you're not trying to cram yourself into the trunk and do all your wiring there, which is frustrating. Uh, instead, you pull it out, put it onto a workbench, and do the work from there.